Hello Power Apps Makers, this is Ahmed Saleh again and I have this quick short video for you today talking about the uh, unique identifier column in the Dataverse table. Every time you create a Dataverse table, there is a, a few system columns that will be created for you. One of them is the unique identifier column and it's a required column by default. It's not editable, you cannot edit that column value and you cannot delete that column. It's basically holding the good value for each record that will be created in this table. And obviously it's a unique identifier, so it's acting like a primary key for you by default by the system. Uh, one of the requirements I had recently is actually to include this uh, GUID or this uh, unique identifier value for each record in the table in a model driven app page basically and to do that you go to the view that you you go to the view in, in in that table for example one of the view uh, as you can see here i have this orders page uh, in this model driven app and in that view i added the column uh, so basically uh, the good the system good uh, column it's not something that you can actually add uh, into a view uh, in dataverse and it's just by default, it's not going to be there. So let's hop in and see exactly what I did to be able to include this column in my view. Uh, right here, I'm actually in my um, uh, solution here called demos. And the first thing first, I will go to my orders table. And, and, and what I wanna show you here, I wanna show you the columns that I have. So I'm gonna go ahead to my columns right here. I will filter by my prefix. Uh, just you know to be able to see all these custom columns and I have all these columns the column that we're talking about is actually this one here as you can see uh, I, I I have the display name and it's it's a good habit actually to rename uh, the unique identifier column in your tables uh, to include the word good usually the default name that will be created by the system is actually the table name it's it's the table name that's what the column this column name is going to be renaming this is great especially if you're gonna use uh, your dataverse data into a canvas app it's great idea to be able to basically distinguish between the table name versus the column unique identifier name right so this is basically the column that we have as i said it's a system column you cannot delete this it's a required and it's searchable it's customizable but you cannot go ahead and delete it if you try to edit there is few things that you can edit here it's the description and it's the display name and searchable and not and also if you want to make it auditable as well okay perfect so now let's actually go to my view as you can see here i have actually all these system views i haven't created anything uh, extra so uh, the view I'm using in my model driven app it's actually the public view default which is the active orders and if I click here now to see this view I have these columns that I dragged obviously from here to here and you know you can uh, change uh, or resize uh, the width of these columns by just you know double click on the edge of uh, these uh, headers and if I want actually to go ahead and add the good, you don't see it here. So it's not here. You have multiple actual system columns like, you know, created by, created by delegates. Uh, you have the modified by, modified on, but you have the owner and the owner business, owning business units. You have the status, status reason. All these actually are system, but that good, uh, that unique identifier call, it's not right here. So what I did to uh, basically work around this and try to show it here, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I have done. So I will go back again to my columns uh, in the orders table, and I will go ahead and filter by my prefix just to see my custom columns in addition to this column right here. This column called the display name is orders good. What I will do, I will create a new column. This time I will call it, I will just call it good to view basically so just you know it's a go to view in the view basically that's what I meant uh, and then from the data type you will select the formula I know this is a preview uh, but it's working and it's stable so far and I haven't seen any problems so use the formula type column and then 
to use actually you can use any function you can use like upper lower concatenate any one of these functions you know will work i use usually lower just to make it identical because the good by default the good value by default are lower cases so i'll use the function lower and i'm gonna look actually from my column so that column called orders as you can see and this is the order goods this is the system column right and then you close the parentheses and that's it the format it will be text you save it and what it's being saved we're gonna go back to that view and try to see if we can actually add this new column. Now we have this new column, as you can see here. It's actually a text, single text. It's it's a formula data type. It's not required, it's optional. Uh, and then uh, from here, we're ready to go back to our views. So I'm gonna go to my view again. I will hit on active orders view. And then as you can see here, now I can see this column right here perfect so what i will do i will just you know uh format this i will publish and again it's it depends if if that's something that you know will be required for you if, if you have some kind of auditing model driven app uh, that you basically build to track certain kind of changes in your app in your data uh and you need to see the good in the view so that's that's the way you go for now uh, so uh, that's it and every time remember every time you create a new record that will be actually created automatically for you so it's not something that you will have to do again so now let's go back again to our model driven app and i'm gonna use this app here it's called cupcake orders and i will hit play and i will click on the orders pages uh, and here you see you can actually see that i have now uh you know this uh good uh value right here and again it's calculated column so as i said if you actually add it uh, let's just add a record out of nothing here and uh, let's say not shipped and save and close perfect and let's actually create it on sort by newest and this here you go that's the one that we just created right here you know that's that's the one that we just created now so basically this is it i mean this is exactly what you do uh to really be able to see uh, the good value in a model driven app uh view uh, if this is something that is required if you like this video subscribe share and i will see you in the next video